a food fraud win for everyone's favorite yellow spice. Turmeric, like all spices, is vulnerable to food fraud. Its vulnerabilities are related to its value, expensive, its supply chains, complicated, with many small farmers and traders, and its physical properties, colour, aroma, and powdered forms. Turmeric was found to be suspicious with respect to adulteration at levels of 11% in a Europe-wide survey of herbs and spices in 2021. A common form of food fraud adulteration for spices is the addition of undeclared and unapproved colorants, such as textile dyes or unauthorized food additives. The colors increase the apparent value of the spices by making them look fresher and more appealing. Colorants used to adulterate turmeric include lead chromate, metanil yellow, acid orange 7, sudan red G, sudan 1 and tartrazine, with lead chromate being the most concerning. In 2016, routine sampling by New York State in the USA, their food inspectors, found high levels of lead in retail turmeric, leading to a recall of multiple brands in the USA. Authorities in India were reporting the same thing that year as well. The following year, researchers in Boston found 50% of the turmeric they purchased from retail outlets also contained high levels of lead. In 2019, researchers reported that seven of nine turmeric growing areas in Bangladesh showed evidence of turmeric adulteration with lead chromate. Levels of lead exceeded limits by up to 500 times. Tackling the problem in Bangladesh. The same researchers who found lead chromate usage in Bangladesh in 2019 have just published a paper that describes how they partner with local authorities to make positive changes for the turmeric supply chain in that country. It's brilliant! Muhammad Abdullah Sheikh is a Bangladeshi turmeric trader who added lead chromate to his wares during the polishing process for whole turmeric roots. The polishing process removes the outer layer of the root to reveal the yellow-gold coloured interior. Lead chromate, a brightly coloured textile dye, gives the roots an intense yellow colour which is associated with high quality fresh roots. Muhammad learned this colour boosting trick from other turmeric traders who started doing it after a large flood affected the, ba- affected the Bangladesh turmeric crop in 1988. He found he could sell his turmeric for higher prices when it had been polished with lead chromate. Muhammad doesn't use the dangerous colourant anymore and is sorry for his past actions. I have to answer to Allah that I used lead chromate in food, he says. The change came about after researchers partnered with the Bangladesh Food Safety Authority to develop a national intervention program to reduce turmeric adulteration with lead chromate. The intervention educated traders like Muhammad on the harmful health effects of the yellow dye. Many of the traders had been feeding the adulterated spice to their own children, unaware of the health effects. Intervention methods included A. Using news media to make people in Bangladesh aware that turmeric was the source of lead poisoning. B. Educating business owners and consumers about the risks of lead chromate in turmeric using public notices and meetings. C. Using rapid detection methods to, inf- methods to enforce policies which already outlawed the adulteration of turmeric. Positive results. It's fair to say the intervention worked very well, reducing the usage of lead chromate in turmeric polishing mills to zero and the proportion of contaminated products from almost half to none. The incidence of lead adulteration in turmeric purchased from a major Bangladesh wholesale market fell from 47% of samples to zero. The percentage of turmeric processing meals adding lead chromate to turmeric decreased from 30% to zero. Workers in the turmeric mills experienced lead blood level drops of 30%. In short, lead chromate adulteration of turmeric is a type of economically motivated adulteration, food fraud. The fraud is perpetrated to make the spice more strongly coloured, which increases its apparent value and price. Researchers who found high levels of lead in Bangladeshi turmeric, turmeric mills and mill workers' blood worked with local officials to reduce the problem. The intervention included education and enforcement. Results were excellent with lead usage dropping to zero in mills in the intervention areas. 
And the main sources for this story were a paper by Forsyth Baker, Nirana Na Islam 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 Plambeck Winch Mystery Luby Ramen entitled Food Safety Policy Enforcement and Associated Actions Reduce Leg Chromate Adulteration in Turmeric Across Bangladesh. It's a great read. I really recommend it. And a story in published in Undark called The Vice of Spice, Confronting Lead Tainted Turmeric. And there are links to both of those sources and all the other sources in the email and in the post. So if you liked this, um, please sign up for the publication. You can sign up for free or for paid, and that will help keep the publication ad-free.